Hello everybody, Stacy Wells here. And I am getting ready to do my last pour of the evening. It's gonna be a double open cup pour. And I've got me a um, canvas that's all taped up and I've uh, spritzed the back with water to tighten it. And um, I'm still struggling with my crooked table. Nothing has changed. Anyway, um, I've got, I think I'm going to use this butterfly today, maybe, we'll see, um, see what happens. Um, and, um, all these paints are mixed, uh, one part paint, one part white PVA, um, Five quarts flow troll, quite a bit of water to thin. I like these to be um, thinner than my other pours because I don't know, I just think it helps. Um, I'm not sure why. I, I just had better luck with the thinner mix on these. And I've got a white base coat down and um, all of them have silicone, as usual. I love silicone. I, I think it helps. Don't want to stir too much, because it'll ruin it, but. Uh, those paints were sitting for a couple of minutes, not very long, but. That Liquitex, boy, it'll thicken up and just uh, have a heartbeat if you're not careful. I love Liquitex paints, but that's one thing I didn't realize when I first got them. I was like, why is everybody think these things are so great? They, they're thick as they can be, and if you, you know, I mean, I left it alone for a couple of seconds, and it turned into molasses. Um, I didn't know that they were, you know, that they just are kind of prone to do that. Once you know it, you can plan for it and allow for it. It's not a big deal. There's some turquoise, that was phthalo blue, uh, lime green, orange, and the orange in it. Um, there comes the orange. Red, uh, Liquitex, I think it's primary red. I haven't been doing as much painting lately. I've been doing a lot of stained glass. But what I have done, I, I think, has, um, I've been on kind of a stroke of good paintings. Like, good luck, but good paintings. Things have been coming out pretty well, I think. I want a lot of blue in this one because of the um, blue and yellow in that um, butterfly. It was a beautiful day here today. I hope everybody else had a beautiful day. Um, I've been talking about this horrible debacle that I got into with my, uh, website and paying some people, some crooks, $350 to do it for me, and then they popped up and wanted $400 more saying SEO wasn't included and, uh, content wasn't included and all this kind of stuff, and... Anyway, if you've watched my videos, you've heard me complain about it, but, um, Design Eminent, that's the name of the company. So, if you're looking for a website and you get all of these guys, their customer service is really good, so you think you're really onto something good, don't be fooled. They're crooks. Um, plus they advertise... 100% customer satisfaction, 100% money back guarantee, and now they won't give me my money back. 
when I told them that that wasn't going to work, that I wasn't forking over another $400, and I knew it would just be an endless well of them wanting money, you know, and I wasn't going to do that. Now they won't return my money. And, um, I have threatened them. I'm reporting them to the FCC and the FTC and the Attorney General's office. Uh, and I'm going to take them to small claims court if I have to. But, if you come across them, design internet, do not get involved with them. Because they're real nice, and like I said, the customer service is really good. And, um, oh, they'll make you believe that, um, they're going to give you a really nice website. And they do good work. I mean, it was beautiful. But, they just want more and more money. I mean, what good is a website if there's no content? You know, um, no, you know, and then never mind no SEO, which I had asked for specifically. Um, that's been a huge mess. But they returned a hundred dollars of my money yesterday, which I think is probably an attempt just to get me to shut up and go away. But we'll see. This is turning out really beautiful, I think. Oh, I've been standing up too long today and my back is killing me. I have really bad back problems. And that thing lasts. I have to stand up and it really hurts. I use more paint than I need on these. Uh, I've mentioned that before. I do it because I like to be able to choose what I want to keep on the canvas and what I want to pour off. Um, so I understand that there's plenty of paint on there. Probably enough on there right now to end it, but I don't want to do that because uh, I, I just love the sales that these kind of pours make. and. Um, I like to be able to uh, be real picky about what I want and what I don't don't want. <sighs> That's really beautiful. I do say so myself. It's beautiful, I think. Uh oh, I almost dropped it in there. I did that earlier, working on a resin piece. Um, I dropped my stick in there. Mm. And 
and the other day when Colton was, my son was painting with me, he did that and I was all upset. those cells they're just gorgeous I just love the way these pores do the cells that they make they just always come out really amazing such a big hole in my painting. Uh -oh. Whoa. See that? The, this table being tilted is a real problem. until I get ready to pour it all in here. Much of it as I can anymore. Oh, that's so pretty. But you know what, I just don't care. some paint off. I got the extra large tape this time, the painter's tape, and it's really good. Okay. Let's 
pour off. It's also pretty. I just don't know. some of that dirt off. Okay, we don't want to graze. I'm always terrified of grazing. If y'all have seen my videos, I know I talk about it a lot, but, and I don't know why I haven't had it happen in a long time, but I hate it. You know, because you have something really beautiful and, you know, you set it up to dry, you go to bed or whatever, you come back and it's turned to crap. It's very frustrating. I hate it. Close to thinking I pour enough off. Leave it just, just like that. I'm not gonna keep messing with it. I'm throw my hands and torch it again. I'm going to bed. Beautiful somewhere in there. Maybe up there in that yellow. sensitive it's crazy I know it's not not picking up on the heat from this but it must be some kind of fumes from the outside or something it was going off like crazy today I hate it it's very loud it scares me every time it goes off I jump okay I'm gonna quit before it goes off I showed her right either. Uh, one I had down to that corner after everything, that corner there. And check that other corner. That's why it sells a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a little bit of a corner I need to get. Okay.
appreciate y'all um, tuning in tonight. Um, I wanted to let you know that I make videos every day, several a day usually, um, and I have, I'm working on building up quite a few of them. Um, mostly, I've got some on resin art, I've got some other pour painting videos, and I'm working on some stained glass tutorials. And, um, anyway, thank you for being with me, and, um, check those other videos out if you feel like it, and, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Y'all have a good night, and until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Bye.